Number 13 and number 14 from the PERT practice test, we have two simplify problems. So they're asking me to simplify this rational expression. All that means is it's a fraction. And they're asking me to simplify this rational expression. It's a fraction with a bunch of letters, variables. And this one has some digits. So let's see what we can do with this. When I look at these and I see these negative exponents, I think, oh my goodness. This reminds me of a house party when I was younger. And we had a two-story house where I grew up. And when we threw a house party, we were afraid or nervous to throw anyone out that was acting up. So instead of asking them to leave our house, and we had a two-story house, top floor and a bottom floor, instead of asking them to leave our house, we would tell them, if you're downstairs and you have a bad attitude, you need to go upstairs and change your attitude. So this fellow partying upstairs, he's got a positive attitude, so we're going to let him stay where he is. And this fellow has a positive attitude, Why to the third. We're going to let them stay where they are. Now, down here, x to the negative 3, he's got a bad attitude, a negative attitude. So I'm going to tell him, you need to go upstairs and calm down. And he, he follows my direction, and when I tell him to go upstairs, and he, he goes upstairs, his attitude changes. So now he's upstairs with the positive exponent. Now, why did the seventh is down here by themselves, but they don't have a bad attitude, so they get to stay just where they are. Now, I have to simplify this a little bit further, and I notice I have an x to the eighth times an x to the third. When you multiply like bases, that means you add the exponents. So x to the eighth times x to the third, well, that's going to give me x to the eleventh on top. Now, I have y to the third over y to the seventh. And when you divide like bases, it's logical to think that you would subtract the exponents, and that's what you do. So technically, I'm supposed to do 3 minus 7, and that gives me a y to the negative fourth upstairs, and then I have to send them downstairs, but I like to look at it this way. Which one's stronger? Which one's more powerful? y to the seventh. So when I subtract those exponents, seven minus three, I get y to the fourth. Where's that y to the fourth going to go? Upstairs with the weaker one or downstairs with the stronger one? And the answer is downstairs with the stronger one. So that's going to give me y to the fourth on the bottom. So let's see if that answer lines up with any of our choices from the practice test for number 13. And, and there it is, choice A is x to the 11th over y to the 4th. For number 14, again, we have to simplify. I'm going to deal with the digits first before I deal with um, any of the exponents. And let's take a look here. 9 over 18, I believe that simplifies to just 1 half. Now I have an x to the 6th and an x to the 1st on the bottom. I'm going to subtract the exponents, and x to the sixth is more powerful, so it's going to be six minus one, so that's five, so x to the fifth is going to go upstairs. Then I have y to the fifth over y to the second, and I'm going to subtract, and y to the fifth is more powerful, and that, that's upstairs, so five minus two is going to give me y to the third on the top. Now as I look at this, I need to think about it. Are they going to have a 1 in my answer choice? I don't think they're going to waste the ink. So the actual answer choice from the multiple choice section would be x to the 5th, y to the 3rd, all over 2. And let's see if that matches up with any from number 14. And there it is. x to the 5th, y to the 3rd, over 2 is choice D.